Toyota Stadium in Bloemfontein, host to the second of three matches in this Castle Lager incoming series. South Africa against Wales. This one is so beautifully poised after the dramatic scenes in Pretoria at Loftus Fersfeld last weekend. And Angus Gardner, the Australian referee, gets the game underway. And an early touch for Warwick Gallant. Stealing straight down. And a penalty. Against the Springboks straight the kick out in front of the post. Feet. 580 points in Test Rugby in total. 85 of those having come against the Springboks. And it's now 88. <laughs> And you can manage. Red 12 offside. Another offside advantage. And it's Marcel Kutsir with another carry. <laughs> His tally in Test Rugby stands at 601.59 against Wales. Very similar to Bigger. Gets uh, a simple start. Get it in. Stay there, nine. Yeah. Green, you've got to push well, Wells, I thought, I think everyone is thinking straight. they just try to get that ball in out, kick it, go to half time. But putting the pressure on at scrum time, so Springboks penalised. What does Bigger do here? Well, they could have done that <laughs> a phase yeah. ago. Well, he doesn't, uh, doesn't want the line out, so taps the ball and kicks it in to that east stand at the Toyota Stadium in Bloemfontein. It's half time in Bloemfontein. South Africa three, Wales three. Marks out the back for Pollard. Leave it. Hands on the ground. Early opportunity for the Springbok captain after the carry from him. And this just right of the uprights to put South Africa ahead. And he loved it immediately. The Springboks ahead in Bloemfontein for the first time. Well done. Round the corner comes Marks. Penalty advantage in front of the post. And the Springboks won more. That's supporting body right. Pollard, little inside. Pop for Peter Steph to Toy. Pollard again. Drops it onto the left boot with Fussy giving chase. Number seven, not supporting body weight. But the game's at a tipping point at the moment. Pollard oh, puts South Africa ahead by six. Ori with the take and the Springbok ball working its way left then right and forward towards the Welsh line. Hendricks awaits. Had a look to the short side. Nachalant. Apalele Fassi to his left. Uh, but that's a massive call on Alan Wynne-Jones. That's a game changer, that. That's an absolute game changer. Option here or over there? I think the call here for the Springboks is take the scrum, a man down in the pack. So a second opportunity for Andre Pollard to push the Springboks into a nine-point lead. Okay, keep it up, boys, keep it up. Okay. Use it now, please. Easter Hazen out the back for Pollard before contact. Orensa. Orensa taken down by George North and holding on to the ball. So Gareth Enscombe from the penalty with a chance to bring the deficit back to six. Just over 40 metres for Anscombe and wonderful strike. Josh Navidi with the pick and go and it's getting closer to the posts as well. There's an offside call against Peter Steff to Toy as they work their way centimetre by centimetre towards the Springbok line. Thomas Williams, Anscombe. Goes wide over the top for Adams. 
It's a brilliant score in the corner for Wales. They trail by one with a kick to come. Brilliantly worked. Wonderful patience with ball in hand. From the left touchline, Gareth Anscombe has nailed the conversion and Wales are ahead. What a kick, what a kick. Pardon me? Angus Gardner was getting a call from the far touchline from his assistant, I think. Willemsa. And Grant Williams. Almost the steal yeah, affected, but not quite. Yeah. Elstadt. Hendrickson. Galanted, it's lost forward okay. by Vincent Koch. And Wales have their first victory ever in South Africa. These teams played first in 1906. They played first in South Africa in 1964. Full time in Bloemfontein. South Africa 12, Wales 13.